pause. Früher Smart One, das habe ich 100% schon gemacht. Ähm, vor Smart One. Aber 100% habe ich da schon, habe ich da schon reingeguckt. Und zwar war das am 4. Oktober, also ich weiß nicht, manchmal du, ähm, heute haben wir den 17., 12., 8., Pur Squadron. Coverage. 100 Prozent. Drei, dreizehn, zehn, fünf, vier. Potion Permit habe ich bestimmt auch schon Content gemacht. Ne, noch nicht. Okay. So. Jetzt können wir aber hier Unlike und nochmal Like. So, bist du überhaupt noch da, Laris? Strategic Mind. Spirit of Liberty by Klabata. Strategiespiel. So, dann gucken wir mal. Strategic Mind, Spirit of Liberty bei Klabata. Äh, Preis für nicht verfügbar für euch, ne? Für den Reap schon gar nicht. Ist eh nichts für dich, ist kein Babygame. Spiel starten. Schauen wir mal.
Hast du morgen auch frei, Loris, oder nur heute? The Republic of Finland is communism. Now, 22 years later, Finnish independence is about to be snuffed out as the old enemy returns. The Red Army marches into Finland. The legendary Carl Gustav Mannerheim leads the Finnish defense forces, under-equipped, poorly armed and vastly outnumbered. Only high morale and skillful leadership can tip the scales back oh God, in Finland's favor. You will take the role of Lieutenant... Oh Gott, wer soll denn das? Wie soll ich denn das lesen? Soll ich mich an den Bildschirm setzen? Oh Gott, ich brauche echt eine Brille langsam. And so, the Soviet Union shows its true colors. Their troops have crossed our border in force. Gentlemen, the war that began in Poland has finally come to us. The Soviets claim our troops shelled their positions near the village of Mainila. An absurd accusation and they know it. Our artillery was pulled back precisely to prevent an incident like that. Exactly. They simply needed an excuse to invade us. Now, they've created one. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who fired the first shot. Now we have to defend ourselves. It does matter to the League of Nations. Our government wants to appeal to the League for assistance. That's nice, but the League can't help Finland if there is no more Finland to help. Just so. We must hold the line, General Osh. And you are the best defensive tactician we have. You'll have your hands full, General. The Soviets plan to overwhelm us with sheer numbers. A few more months to prepare would have helped. Our main defensive line is still unfinished. Then we'll have to rely on your skill and the sisu of our soldiers. I am placing my trust in you, General. I won't let you down. But that appeal to the League? I suggest you tell our government to hurry. Okay. Kein Ladebalken, nix, ist es hängen geblieben? Das irritiert mich jetzt. Hä? Das Musik. General Ira, da. give us a situation report. The Soviet forces have broken through our border defenses. According to the field reports, they expect this initial attack to push all the way to Vipuri. Well, they won't reach it. General Osh, you will make sure of it. Destroy the enemy's forward units. The time for diplomacy is over. Understood, Field Marshal. Our soldiers will meet the enemy at Kanediarvi. The landscape there is excellent for defense. However, we can't hold the enemy there for long. So Our current forces alles. won't nearly be enough. I understand. You'll be reinforced at the earliest opportunity, but before that, the fate of Finland depends on your leadership. Do not let your country down, Leonard. General Eich. Strange enemy activity has been spotted at General Lurie. Send in aviation reconnaissance as soon as possible to see what the Soviets are planning. Understood, General Iroh. I will give the orders. Schlage die sowjetischen Truppen zurück, führe eine Luftaufklärung über eine Luftaufklärung.
The forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. These units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. Also ich bin ganz ehrlich, ich habe keinen Schimmer, was ich machen muss. Ich habe null Schimmer, was ich machen muss. Blau. Ammunition and fuel icons next to a unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit is attacked this turn. If the unit is low on ammunition or fuel, the corresponding icon is yellow. It becomes red once the unit has run out of it completely. Any orders for us? Yeah, the results here in Marshian. Wir sind doch... Eckart! Okay, wie kann ich die Truppen darüber ziehen? Anti-Tank Artillery is effective against tanks and other hard targets. Your best tactic when using anti-tank artillery is to position it next to your other forces to provide them with fire support versus attacks from enemy tanks. Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, Nein, and well-entrenched positions. A well entrenched also, infantry is a so tough target Tutorial. for the enemy assault. Ah, yes. All I need is a focus gun and a line of sight. Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain. However, they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well-entrenched infantry units. Rolling out! Plenty of targets soon. Finished tank killers have arrived. This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport and can only disembark from naval transport at a seaport. 
Tank crew reporting. Ja, schieß doch mal was platt. Any orders for us? Ja, du sollst dahin. Beware the fire support of the enemy artillery if you attack enemy troops with an artillery unit nearby. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. However, its main strength is its long firing range, which allows you to destroy the enemy troops from afar. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable <sighs> to aircraft attacks and in close combat, so it needs to be protected. for us soldiers form up we will be fed after this right Ich habe keinen Schimmer, was ich hier machen soll. Selten so planlos in einem Game rumgedrückt wie hier. Macht sie platt, den bösen Rosen. Ich bin mein Panzer. Hey God. Oh, das ist auch alles viel zu klein geschrieben. Da sehe ich echt nichts, du. Greif doch mal den Russen an, Mensch. Truppen zurück, sekundäre Ziele. Ich 
schwierig, schwierig, schwierig. Ich kann auch die irgendwie gar nicht mehr zurückordern. Ich habe keinen Plan. Strategic Mind, Spirit of Liberty, ich schnall es nicht, sorry. Strategic Mind of Liberty. Spirit of Liberty. Das war unser erst Eindruck. Wer Spaß hat an sowas, Strategiespiel, Aufteilen von Truppen, Länder einnehmen, Panzer mit rumschießen, Piu, Peng, Puff und so. Strategic Mind of Liberty von Klabata. So, dann machen wir hier direkt 